So right now, um, go to create a new company. So you can just click this. If it's already open, you don't need to do that again. Right? Well, because I closed it in the last class. Right, you cancel that. So to create a new company now, new company, create a new company. So so now at this point, in order to create a new company, all this information are going to be asking from us. Okay, there are five in number or so. Yeah. Our company name and address, the type of business we are operating, the accounting method that we maintain, our accounting period, and what our are created. So these are going to be asking. These are very, very important questions. And by the time we're able to supply all this, our company is set up and we started working with it. Okay? So at this point, when you have something like this in computer, it's called a uh, wizard process. When you have something like that, so you follow, right click next. So you can see the most compulsory amount all here is the company name. Right? So this simply means you can also come back later to fill up every other thing if you don't remember at this point. So the company name, call it software. Okay, the address. So this is the same way you'll be doing it when you are setting it up for a company, right? Address 402 Road, opposite, you close, right? First start time. Okay. First team, don't have second address for now. Amuwo, LA Lagos, can you see city, state, zip code, right? 23401, we are in Nigeria. But the most important thing is this, that's why you see the asterisk there, right? So you put your phone number. Anyone that you don't have, don't bother, just keep it, right? This is 290 30, like we don't have the facts. So the type of the business, corporation, government, you understand? You remember business organization as a topic, private, so partnership, so proprietorship, limited, any exempted, any other one kinds of organization. This exempted is not informal fashion. So as time goes on, I will tell you what new. This is not in any other lower version. We're talking about 14, 13, I've worked with all those. Right? It's not there. So what you also have is this. So let's talk with a private company, limited liability company, right? Which is most things you will see all around. Right? So federal employee ID, state employee ID, state employee ID, this might be like your RC. Okay? Should the case. But anyway, you don't have, just leave it. The website, if you have, you put it. If you don't have, you leave it. We actually have one. Software.com.ng info at software.com.ng So this is the same thing where you are going to be. Can you see? You can edit this formation after our company is created. So I also going to tell you how to do that when we get to that stage. Right? So you don't say, oh, I've put it in it. What am I going to do again? So you can also do that. So next year. So now, now select the method to create your company. Don't rush. Now, you have something here. Use sample business type that are close match your company. I have something here. Most company treaties this. Then copy it from a system company. This one simply means that there's a really cheap one called chart of account. What are chart of account? Account errors already used. That's what the person could come here. I'll go through all this, see the way it is. Then second one, copy assisting, copy setting from an existing safety accounting company. Like I'll show you the two company the other time. If the company we want to create now also have a similar operation with that one, we can also copy instead of starting developing from scratch. That's the essence of this. Convert a company from another company, accounting company. Like remember the QuickBook and Dekizi recently made. Tally is not compatible with this. So if you are migrating from Tally, you can't enter here. But if you are migrating from DKZ or QuickBook, you, can, you are still good to go. Then, the third one, build your own chart of account. There's a decide for accountant and advanced user only. Then the third one, consolidate 
existing sage fifty accounts for me. This is one of the new feature from two thousand and thirteen and above. Right? You don't have it any less than anything less than two thousand and thirteen. And also, it's not in all fashion of this. It's in something like quantum fashion like this, premium fashion like this. What the essence of this? It simply means if your company have a branch, four branch, five branch, only a branch, and you set up the same accounting system, definitely, because it's the same company, but it just has a different company. At the end of the year, you can have a group account. So all you just need to do is back up the first branches, second branches, then you consolidate it together to have one financial report. Do you get that? So that is exactly this is you know each branch will have their own financial report. You now want to have the, the brand. The overall, that's why you have consolidated. It's one of the new future features from so starting. Before that, before the advent of this, you need to start to see oh, what's balance sheet and what's balance sheet. You now started putting, putting, putting. It used to be a lot of hectic stuff. But now with this, it's very, very easy. Right? So that's the explanation on this. So I won't choose this, but I just want to show you. So when it says select from SC company, this here now they have different kinds of companies. Can you see service company, retail company, non-profit, that's NGO, manufacturing distributor, con uh, construction, and so on. Any company, any business kind of business you can take off. So they're now saying that okay, if you say you are in that theater, this is likely chance of account you might need. Which is also subjected to edit. But in my class, in our class, I don't regularly use this. Why? You don't know how this thing gets here. Do you know how to get it? No. Right? But with the way with the way of what I'm going to teach you, you know how it gets there and you know how to make use of this. Right? So I don't normally use it, but I just want you to see. So copy it for existing company. If you click it now, can you see it's showing you your existing company? This company, first of system limited, might not be the same thing that you are doing. It is just an existing company, right? And not the same thing. So if it's not the same similar operation, so you leave it. Convert, we are not converting any company right now. Right? Consolidate, we know we don't need this because we are not put yeah. adding more than two accounts. So for the purpose of this slide, we are going to use this. Build your own charts of accounts so you know how to set up a structure. And the, one of the most important aspects of any accounting application is your ability to build and think what accounts you need at any point in time. With that first one, everything is already there, just choose. Right? So for the purpose of this guy, we are going to work with this. Build your own chart of account, design for account and an advanced user only. So we are going to work with that. Right? So you click here. So when you get to this place as you are doing it, don't rush, look at it. Because by default it will be here. So if you get there, you just click next. It's going to choose this and you just find out that ah, I didn't create this. Where did they come from? Right, because you choose the first one. Okay, so you build this. And why do I always like the student to build this? So that you get to know different kinds of channel accounts on your own. Right? And you're able to discipline yourself for some other stuff. So we'll move on to the next. Then we have the divine account segments like selector, command, the length, and some other stuff. We don't really need this. We don't want it to be maximum of 15 line for number. Just want it to be as unlimited as possible, so we don't change it, right? So by the time we put four there, we now get a pattern. You want to put five digits? It doesn't allow it to move, right? So leave like that. Then here, this is also very important. Choosing accounting method, accrual or cash basis. Accrual, you allow your client to hold you to, to buy on credit. They don't pay immediately. Why cash basis, cash and carry? Note, this cannot be changed. Do you get that? So if you choose this from here, it cannot be changed. But after looking at the survey and the statistics of most of the company around the world, there's hardly a company without a credit customer. So for the purpose of that, use a call. So if they pay, fine. They don't pay. Unlike cash, they don't pay. So if you, when you choose cash now, if you want to do something and you're not paying, the transaction will not go. Because you choose cash and carry kind of So for the purpose of this card, we are going to work with April. And this is what you will see, I can guarantee you most places. Even though the so-called cash and carry as a company has some clients that they sell on credit, they are paying more than to them. The only thing that might happen is that they will not enter the transaction into the system 
until they pay, mm. which is delay. We sometimes, they are not careful, they might miss some records. Yes, yes, yes. So we are working with accrual basis, right? Then now, look at this now. We have posting the yeah, head, choose the posting method. In other fashion, you get that? In other lower version, you only have two posting methods. So it's only from 2015 that you have this smart posting, right? It's only in fashion 2015 that you have smart posting. We don't have it in every other lower version. So read time. So the first one, read time. So before the advent of you, what we used to do is the read time, which is as you are saving it, it's posting it. But it's not even advisable at all. Reason? Because you are operating electronically. So why are you doing the batch? Then this is the new, this is the new version. This is the new one, smartphones. I see recommended. That's something I save and then post it automatically in the background. I post this smart service and allow you to finish the transaction without waiting for it to post. The service is allow you to get the best performance. So for the purpose of this class, for the first time we are going to be using this. Right? This smart posting. Then again. Alright, so now from smart, we can also go back to uh, what? So we are here now. We need to choose the accounting period. You see every December that we do a financial year, like maybe a SAT, that first December, something like that. So when is always our first month, our accounting year? Some people have some company, they do their own annually after December. Some have their own, maybe some company accounting period is April. So it depends on, so now, if you operate a uh, 12 month accounting period, which is regular, so you choose this. If you are doing anything otherwise, maybe, okay, like now we are in August now, today's August 1st, right? So our accounting year is actually this August, right? So, but now, if I want to choose now, I might come to this place now, next, and I choose August, right? But I will not advise you to choose that of course like that. Reason, I'll see also that I, like, I, I want you to choose from January. Because along the line, you just saw that some transaction will come up. You just saw that there's a transaction that are taking place before you even started. And the, thing, and the dates has to be correspond. Maybe transaction of March, May, I just see it just come up. So where will you go to post it? So either you use from the current month example August now to start posting, which is where you are getting started, or you use from January to December, it doesn't affect it. The only thing is that if you maintain, it's only the application account the application I've seen so far that I maintain 24 months. That is, you can run at the, at the end of the first year, take all the brought forward to the next year, right? Most of other most other accounting applications that I've worked with is only 12 months. You run up after the 12 months, but this still allows you for 24 months, which is two years. Right? So this one does that. So for the purpose of this class, we are not going to choose just August. Can you see can can't be that do not match the calendar months? Calendar month for them is January to December. Do you understand? So let's choose this, right? Because I've seen it on so many cases. It's just working and they will just tell you that oh ah there's this transaction that happened so 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 months and like ah you didn't tell us before and there's no way you can move back because it's not part of what you prepare so to take care of unforeseen contingency like that so you just choose this right then you click next so at this point now instead of saying August which is the month if I choose August like if I want to post anything in January I won't be able to post for January. Because when you want to do this for a company, one very important thing, if you have not been operating account system uh, electronically, like they are already operating manually. So you need to get their book value, the records. So if you are going to start, you should actually start from where the record starts from. 
So how again you also need to convert all the book value, the minority is so many things, to accounting times. Those accounting times you convert it to is what we are going to get in the next class called chart of accounts. How you can convert all those things to account times. That's basically chart of accounts, which is the most very very important aspect of this. So you are still going to use January, just by the fact that we are posting August, which doesn't affect our transaction. The only thing is that nothing will appear from January to July until August. Do you understand? So we simply, somebody is trying to check any report on January to August, nothing will be there. That's the only difference. So you click next, then you click finish. So by the time you do this, you need to create your complaint file. That's what it's creating, right? And you have your own complaint customized at the top. For example, this one you have software customized. Then next thing to do, since we said we want to build our complaint from scratch, a chart of account from scratch, the next thing to do is to start and it's a software login, right? To start building our chart of account first. So in the next class, we are going to switch that. Thank you for listening.